Do other creatures have soul? That is not as outlandish question or unorthodox a question as it might seem. Our English word for animals is derived from Latin name for a soul, anima. But even a Christian theologian can find a good biblical grounds for taking this idea seriously. Bible suggests that other creatures have souls. For instance, in Psalm 104, when you take away their spirit, they die and return to dust. But when you send out your spirit, they are created anew. Thus you renew face of the earth. And beyond uh, animals, this summer, uh, tomato plants sprang out of our compost at home. And they gave us such a joy, these volunteer plants or accompanying plants. Just observing them, how they grew out of the bare soil compost on our balcony. I started to think of them as other creatures with souls. This weekend, we'll welcome our 2017 autumn speaker, thinker, philosopher, and environmentalist, Dr. David Abram. He will speak to us how respecting other creatures' souls can lead to happier, healthier, and more spiritual living for us and our entire planet. So come on Saturday morning or on Sunday for the worship.